disgraceful. See Buari's decision over Senate's leaking roof. Lawal Ahmed revealed. The Nigerian Senate on Wednesday reacted to the leaking roof within the lobby of its White House, saying it had earlier met President Mohamed Buhari directed them to look for the money needed for the rehabilitation of the complex. It also faulted the media over reports on the leakage, blew the situation out of proportion. Senate particularly took cognizance of the news outlets that used flood to describe the situation that left the National Assembly cleaners battling to control the dripping water on Tuesday. The Senate further accused the media of misappropriation and misrepresenting Tuesday incidents, stating that what happened was leaked rainwater into the complex lobby. Former Senate spokesman Senator Aliyu Sabi Abdullahi, who came through Order 14 and 15 of the Senate Standing Order, emphatically said the report on the incident by Channel's television alleging that the leakage disrupted plenary was erroneous and a breach of his rights as a senator. He noted that while Channel's TV's report on the situation impinges on the privilege of the lawmakers, it was largely incorrect as it further accused the Senate of approving $37 billion for the renovation of the edifice. He asked the leadership of the upper legislative chamber to as a matter of privilege, take up the matter immediately. Decrying the TV report, President of the Senate, Lawan Ahmed, described the TV report as irresponsible, adding that it was aimed at denigrating the Senate. He, however, pointed out that the report did not emanate from journalists at the National Assembly, who he said had demonstrated patriotism in reporting activities in the parliament. He recalled that the leadership of National Assembly had earlier met with President Mohamed Buhari when it requested the sum of $37 billion to rehabilitate the edifice. But castigations from the media led to the budget being slashed to $9 billion. I remember that myself and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Damo Bachapiamila, met with the president so that money can be released for the rehabilitation of the building after it was used for 20 years without rehabilitation. Mr. President told us to go look for the money and I remember that myself, the late chief of staff to the president, Kiari, the speaker and finance minister, went about to look for the money, Lawan said. He described Tuesday incident as a vindication of what the National Assembly foresaw, insisting that they acted as responsible tenants to protect the structure from deteriorating. He further called on the media to seek and report the truth and to help develop the country's democracy. That serves them right. Were they not the one um, supporting Barry? Yes, of the truth, it's a disgrace. It's a very, very big disgrace and, 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 and an insult at that. A, a, a National Assembly, a whole National Assembly having a leakage of roof. <laughs> Look at, you see, you see what I, what I meant when I say that uh, the president doesn't pay attention to, to the need for, or the president doesn't do what he's supposed to do. Things that are very important, Buhari doesn't pay attention to them. The only things that are not that are not important, only things that are not important, and that has been causing us lots and lots of setbacks, and our people keep tolerating that. So for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long are we going to keep doing this? For how long? See. It is not everything that Bori says that we should do and we must do. Okay, I agree. 
that okay the sum that um that was actually postulated by the senate is much okay the money has been slashed let the money be provided why not telling them to go and source for the money did you give them the money uh, is there any special money in a special post you see so it is the senate that gave worried that space that chance they gave him the chance to come in because if they haven't given him the chance to come in very wouldn't have um have been, have been doing what he's doing you see that so how uh, i would say that that serves them right that serves them right that serves them right let's everyone begin to have a pinch of of all that he's doing abby uh -huh. so they took worry as a as a father and worry is now showing them who he is he's showing them you see that so let everyone be wise let everyone be wise and begin to do what uh, what uh, he or she knows better. Abby? Uh -huh. So, um, my dear viewers, there is, not, there is no much to say about this. It is the Senate that invited what is eating them up. It is the Senate that invited their problem. And it is, it is, now, it is now causing them a very serious harm. But then, I would say it is a very big disgrace. It's a very big disgrace. You see? But then, <laughs> um, Vari should be, uh, should, should be curtailed. He should not be given too much power over, um, over legal matters. He has a limit to, to such. The Senate uh, are the people that have the right to so many legal matters. Barry should not be closing over matters that concern the Senate. He should not. Because it is affecting. It is affecting. It is affecting. And, um, and I tell you that if uh, if he keeps if they keep giving him that chance, he will keep he will keep taking taking control of the situation. He will keep taking control of the situation and it doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. At all. So they should not give him that chance. They should not give him that opportunity. They are the one that caused all this. If not, worry is not supposed to to, to, to have a say. He's not supposed to. You understand? He's not supposed to. You understand? And that is it. So, my my people in the house, I would like to hear from you anyway to know what your take concerning all that has just been taken off. Taken. You understand? Let me hear from you. Let me know what your own take on this is. Let me know what your take on